Hello YouTube, this is Forza Potenza and welcome to an exciting new series for this channel. Um, remember that Manchester United Young Guns career mode I done? Yes, well, I got too far ahead of myself and it was too daunting to go through and edit absolutely everything. Um, so it became too daunting, I deleted all the files of that on my computer and this is sort of its return. Um, I wanted to update the squads because when I'd done it before, I didn't have an internet connection at the time I wanted to start recording. So I just said, you know what, I'm just going to use the old squads. Um, but um, now I've decided I want to go and rebuild the squads and I wanted some rules. Like, I was allowed to give myself a certain amount of players because before the first transfer window was just find a player, he's under 21, get him in. He's cheap, he's under 21, get him in. That was a bit not very good. It, I didn't enjoy it like that. Um, so this is the new idea. It is a Chelsea career mode um, with a few more rules. Um, no, if the player has been recently transferred in real life, or I wouldn't be able to buy him at the start of the game. I was allowed to put a few of those in, like just enough to give me a bit of squad depth. So the fight is not to get squad depth; it's to get the best players for when we get promoted to the Premier League. We're starting in Championship, by the way. Cardiff are taking our place, and also the our place in Champions League, which I think would be pretty good to go back and have a look at. Um, yeah, and I've. Um, sort of set up a Forza Potenza awards thing ready for like the um, because I'm going to do a player of the year award, it was always my intention. Um, so it's on screen right now. Um, like I'll, get, I'll choose a personal man of the match, and they will get two points towards this system. Most points wins, uh, quite obviously. If, if a player scores a hat trick, they get three points. Um, there's this thing I'm doing called a magic moment. Um, if that's sort of if a player has sort of a fantastic moment, whether it's a fantastic save, fantastic clearance, really um sort of being the sort of centre of that line of defence, or whether it's a fantastic moment going forward with a good goal or a good assist or a beautiful crossing or something along those lines, they will get one point. An own goal will cost you one point, um, and a red card will lead to a three point deduction. Um and those are the ones that can be done throughout a game. Um over the course of the season, the top scorer in the league will get five points. Um I might do it in the league, might do it overall. Um yeah, I'll do it overall in all competitions. Um and there's um for the most clean sheets um to game less clean sheets to game ratio. So basically this is for goalkeepers and defenders only. For the for the goalkeeper defender who sort of um keeps the most clean sheets in comparison to like the games I've played. So that's sort of clean sheet percentage whilst on the pitch. Um they will get three points because I would just say that it was there is now the reason that we got so many clean sheets. Um, most assists, I will give three points to the player who does that in all competitions. Um, like it's not just the league, it's like in any competition. Um, and that I would this one's for league only. Um, the player with the highest average rating um, according to the game, not according to what I personally think they've done, because I'm not doing a rating for everybody, I'd get it wrong a lot. They will get two points. And... Um, I think that'll be a good idea, and then it sort of um, rewards consistency. Like, this isn't the only reward I'm doing at the end of the season. There'll be um like there'll be there'll be other ones that I'll do um like, I don't think I'll probably have any loan players. Um, I'll try and buy all the ones I want, but um I'll do lots of like most consistent. I'll potentially do a worst player, and um I'll do I'll do like a best signing thing if I sign anybody in January. Who knows? Um, that's just a quick run through. Um, I will very quickly now show you the squad I've got and we'll start looking at some transfers in this episode. Um, I haven't been through the squad, I'll go through as I go sorting it out. Um, I didn't sort out a goalkeeper so you Mal Blackman will have to do for now. Um, I will look to sign another goalkeeper but yeah, overall it's not the worst in the world, he will be a good backup player. I've got Kurt Zuma at centre back, he's got Ake there but I have um, brought back um, Euro and Dyer. Um, Dyer, because he's recently joined, it, that means he can sort of come on sort of that rule I was just mentioning about. Um, that Chambers, and I'll sign Yedlin, I'll sign Chambers and Yedlin through that rule that I made with myself. I just remember I haven't quite done this properly. Best hits, because he's recently joined, I could have in my team. Same with Davis, um, because he's recently joined a team and I wouldn't be able to sign in the first transfer window. It just, like, I know it's a bit cheaty. But it's just to make the first transfer window not as dull and boring and just signing the same players and just getting players in. So, yeah, Love to Cheek and Masanda. Um, I am sort of struggling for players here. Like Moran, he can't play. The only reason Moran's there is because I sort of wanted to bring him back. He's the only one I could think of trying to sell him. 
and it gives me a bit more time so I'll try this and it sort of failed so this where this idea came from um, so I've got Loftus Cheek and Bessitz there um, I've got Lucas Piers on I've brought back up loan um, Forgan Hazard brought back up loan like I said can't use Moran um, Rillian Goretzka he's my joker player um, it's just to make the series less dull and not spend huge amounts and it sort of lets me get in better players and better depth and then the uh, another player who I've allowed myself to bring in is Mbolo because he's new to the game I know he's not here anymore, I know he's been here for half a season, but at the start of career mode, it is his first season. Um, so yeah, you like he cannot be used at all. Like, it's still haven't got much depth to the squad, it's not exactly the best. Like, I've got Beanie, um, I've got Ake, Darbo here, but why is Darbo even on the bench? That is, and same with Ake really. Yeah, I've got Amuro, Yedlin, um, Lewis Baker. I've got Christiansen, Rodriguez, and Musonda. Yeah, I'm gonna put. Um, that's the problem. I haven't got many midfielders now. Right. Um, I've only got like the two wingers that are on the pitch. Um. So I'm gonna very quickly have a look at the shortlist. I'm gonna shortlist some players that I want to have a look. At. So I know it's not gonna be the best shortlist at the moment, but here are sort of the players I'm looking at at the moment. Most of these I have inquired for. Um, Yuri Tielemans, obvious reasons, he's a fantastic player. Um, Rabio, another fantastic player. I, mean, I think Tielemans is going to be more of a, um, like less of a hold midfield than Rabio because like, his long passing is apparently quite good. So yeah, um, J Jordan Velatu, probably my favourite player on career mode at the moment. Um, I will be looking at more, but it's just a very rough one. Sort of the first few players I'm looking at. Um, Larice Carius, he's a good player. Um, I think he's German. Yeah, he's German. I knew he was playing in the German League. Um, I wasn't so sure when I saw his name, but yeah, he's a German player. He plays for Mainz and he's their top goalkeeper at the moment. Um, Simeon Scuffit, everybody sort of goes for this player if they go for young players. It's just, it's Scuffit. It's that one player in FIFA this year who sort of everybody has to go for if they're looking for a goalkeeper. And yeah, you get that every year. Like last year, it's, um, there's certain players, now this year, it's certain ones. For me, it's, even though he's not the sort of one you hear about a lot, Ricardo Kiesner, he's an incredible player at left mid. He'd be more than adequate backup um, should anything happen to Forgan Hazard or any of my other players can play on that side. He's a fantastic player. Sado Berahino, in good form. I've sort of realised that Harry Kane's unrealistic because now he's shot up to 76 overall. There's less chance of me getting him, but Berahino's about 73 overall. There's a good chance I can still get him whilst in the championship. And Jurgen Lacadia. Um he's seventy three overall. He's a good player. I am looking at players like Mitrovic as well, but I'm yet to go in with enough for them. I just wanna see what sort of price I'm gonna get back now. Just rather than get all the transfers done early on, I'm rather do it gradually. Um and I have brought Van Ginkle back up loan. Um he had a few inquiries coming in. Lacadia two point two. I think his rate must have dropped, but 2.2, I'm not going to moan at that. I'm just going to go for it. I normally do like to negotiate a little bit. But yeah, um, Van Ginkel is back. I did make sure to bring him back up low. Um, yeah, and it does say we need another striker. Um, I'm just going to see what the rest of the inquiries are. And I might not make a bid until a few episodes. I might not make many more bids straight away. Um, Scuff it, that one's 6.5. That's pretty reasonable. Um, if I can get him down to 5, though. Because I'm going to go for carrier, aren't I? And, well... Yeah, the salary is a lot better with Scuffit, and that's at the sacrifice. Um, 12 million for Berahino. He's a good player, don't get me wrong. I don't think he's worth 12 million just yet. I'm going to go with enough for 7.5. So I'll probably say 9.5 or 9 million. In which case, I wouldn't be too disheartened. I'll just go in with that. Carry us out 5. That's pretty good. Um, I think I could get him for 4. I think I'd get him for 3.7 if I tried hard enough. And sort of begged and begged with lower offers. I think that would give me for 3.7, but 4 is just that bit of security. Because I need to sort of sp I need to be reasonably quick just so I can see what I've got to my budget. And the caddy has been that offer has been accepted for him. Four years, 40 grand a week. Am I prepared to give him that? Yeah, why not? Um, I'm, it will be a bit tight, but some some younger players. I mean, like normally a player of his sort of quality. Um, they'd want a lot more than sort of 40 grand a week. Um, if I was but signing the players like 73 overall for Chelsea, as I am right now, 
and they were a bit older, and then yeah, I'd be, I'd be looking a lot more. Um, and same with Carriers, like an older goalkeeper of a band that 74 overall, if I was looking at a team like this, he may, they may be a bit different with it, and I think that's pretty reasonable if I'm honest. Not the best, but it's something. Right, this is incredible now. I've got to show you this. Berahino, seven and a half million accepted. I'm, I'm shocked about that. I'm, I thought he'd hold out for a bit more. It may mean though, like sort of the quality of the player and sort of like two sort of high like money signings that um, I might have to, to hold back on one deal because like these are sort of like my main sort of key players who are going to cost quite a bit. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for important first. If I'm not going to go for crucial. Yeah, it just, it's another option. Um, I'm going to go back on Keyson, by the way. Um, whilst, um, it might be in archives. No, nothing's in archives, so it should still be down here. Yeah, I know I don't keep this very tidy. It's just the way I do things. It's it's a lot of organising to get it sorted, and I'm just like, no, I, don't, I can't do that organising. Um, I'm going to go with 8.5 for Keyson. Oh, I've got, I need to try and sell that player. That one of, uh, yeah, I might go for that. I might try and sell him with Rabio to be fair. Not Rabio, because Rabio is asking 9 mil. Um, either T Elements, like, because the player I've got would be absolutely incredible for them, or Veritu. Um, like, reset the minute. No, nope. well, that is the reset thing. Um, yeah, not Van Ginkel, he's up here somewhere. He's going. Oh, it's because it's down with me, I'm just signing him, it's annoying as heck, that. I might... For now, look, I know how old he's very to. 21. Might be my own chance. If I miss out on him, at least it's a chance I can get in. Look, I'm just gonna... It's because like, the amount of players have left and what have you. It does make stuff like this very awkward. It's because I was... If I hadn't like, like, had him down as like, a new player, if I'd just like, recall him from his loan, I could sell him. And that a little bit easier, and that's the advantage. But he's down as a new join the club, and now being sold on. I might have made it impossible for myself in this first season to sell him. But Moran, I think I could easily sell Yeah, it's down as recently joining the club. Oh. I've messed up big time there. You know what? I might just release him from his contract. Look, that's freed up a bit of money in the wages, and I know it cost a little bit to happen, or to have go through, but you know, so be it, really. It, it's something I need to do, and I know I could have done that a lot cheaper, but I didn't, did I? I messed up a little bit. Um, but hey ho, it doesn't really matter, it's not the end of the world. Um, like, so now we're just going to go with. I'm only going to give him three years. I was going to give him four, but I can't bother to change it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just thought you needed to see that. And um, I'll carry on. Good news! And I'm not talking about Dacia on like, Top Gear, whenever you hear the word good news. Um, so, I actually, the transfer offer has been accepted for Keithner. Um, like, as I say, he might only end up being a backup player, because Pearson, I mean, for Frankfurt this season, he has been in incredible form. Like, I'm only going to give him an important first team player. To me, Keysnet is a big player to this team. Um, but yeah, that's just what I'm going to give him. Karius or uh, Berahino. I'm, like, I'm just better to just get these deals done very quickly. Um, say the Berahino. I'm going to stall with Karius because I only need one goalkeeper. And if I can get Scuffit, I would prefer to get Scuffit. Just simple as. Um, but Sado Berahino has joined now. And, um... Like, we haven't got much backup up front. Like, not much, like, solid backup. But we've got Berahino and we've got Mbolo. Um, you do... I mean, I can forget the players are best hits in this team. Oh, forget the quality of my own team. Uh, yeah. And now... I do still want the Cadia. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with that. And that means I've got 23 million left. Oh, this is a tough decision. Overall, I think it will work out cheaper if I go for Scuff It. Like, I've never used Scuff It before. I know everybody uses Scuff It. But, Karius, although it's a million cheaper now, it's 15 more thousand a week. 
over the course of a year. Um, I worked it out at one time. It was fifty grand is one grand a week in wage, but it's a lot more over the course of a year. Um, pretty much. But Scuff, it's good enough. He's seventy one overall. I think he's just worse than Randolph, but that's pretty good. Randolph is a top top keeper in this league. So he's not much fast. He's not very fast. The best in the league, and he's pretty good. Um, like I think this team, it looks like it's developing a lot quicker because of the players I sort of bought in for myself um, before sort of starting it. Um, it's saying it's a sizable price tag, but five million, it's barely anything really. Um, oh, um, Keith wants the biggest. Look, I'm going to give him crucial first team player. I think he probably would be a crucial first team player if I'm honest. Um, so he can have that as far as I'm concerned. I've got no depth to the squad, so it won't be too overpowered because of the lack of depth. And the fact that matters, like the players I will be buying, I'll have to be spending absolute tons on. And that's going to make it difficult. He's, he's gone up by one already. Um, he starts with like 73 or something. I'm um, sure Murray had one, 1 1.3 for him. Uh, I know he can make the mistake of inquiring too much and it messes it up. But yeah, that's good. Randy Kadira, he's recently joined Leipzig. Right, I'm gonna bring this video to an end in a bit. Um, like, it's all right. Like, I'm. It's probably my fault for messing up before, and now it's getting late, and my voice has gotten less enthusiastic. Oh, can't I? Am 400k. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm losing the plot. I'm just talking. I can feel myself just losing the plot, and like, cause the way I have to have this set up with this microphone. So I can do it sort of live and facing the screen and my desk is away. It's sort of, yeah, if I sort of go full sleep, I'm headbutting the microphone and I'm not risking that. <laughs> and also it might be a dull video and it would mess up with my recording software and sort of the memory on my computer depending on how long I'm asleep for. <laughs> yeah, but um, anyway, I'm going to end you, I'm going to leave it sort of at this possibly, um, just, I'm gonna make what they said um, with more and I am. Yeah, pretty much. It, it's good because like, I know I haven't progressed much in time. I mean, I've managed to. I normally have progressed more than 15 days even when I'm playing matches, let alone transfers. Um, either way, um, like, I'm gonna just make this. I'm gonna just go with that for his Grove and Algarve. I'm gonna leave. Um, Keaton was accepted. That's a more lively note to end this video on. A 74 overall player, Keishner. He is an incredible player. He didn't sort of see revelation in the career mode, but he did have it. Yeah. This is the team as I leave um, today's video. Um, we have Scuffit in goal. We've got Callum Chambers out on the side, 19 year old. Kurt Zuma, Eric Dyer, um, Ben Davis. We've got Marco Van Ginkel. Um, Besic, we've got Goretzka, Hazard, Kiesner, and up front we have Sado Berahina. Um, and here it's sort of, sort of the bench, to sort of leave it on. Uh, we've got Beanie, um, Euro, um, Yedlin, an incredible player. Look this player to bits. Um, he just had some incredible games um, when I've used him. And he's had the best assist I've ever seen on career mode, which I didn't film. And I feel guilty that it was only an assist because it should have been a goal. Shall I hit it on the line? I'm so angry with Shall I about that. Uh, anyway, I'll start losing. I'll stop losing the plot. Can't lose my never had. I know. <laughs> oh, it's daft now. I get to the plot point. I'm so tired and just daft. So there's just nothing that says sense about what I'm saying. Um, Lewis Baker there. Jurgen Lacadia, a fantastic player. Would prefer Zivkovic, but Lacadia will do. Um, Tico Musanda, I think his name is. Um, Andreas Christiansen. We got Pearson, Rodriguez, Embolo, Darbo, Loftus Cheek, Brown, Solanke, Nathanake, and Blackman. We are finally get some depth into the squad. I think that's a good step. Um, it's not much depth, but and like, I'll sort of um, go through some of my transfer targets. Um, like as you've seen, I'm going for another centre back. Yeah, I'm just going for backup to the first team. I might try and get both because I, I need another right back. Oh, uh, another right mid. Um, right back, I'm all right. Um, left back potentially because Ake comes into that position a fair bit, and I use him. Definitely need some more centre mids. Uh, I'm going to be onto that. Um, I do really need another attacking midfielder, 
and maybe a new left mid. Maybe I could look at um, Werner. Or oh, Demi Gray even, just as like a backup player. Who knows what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm going to leave it here because, yeah, I'm at the point where I'm so tired. I'm not even sounding funny. I just want to, yeah, relax and give my voice a bit of a rest. I've been recording for about two hours straight on different things. Um, thank you for watching this. Sorry, it hasn't been a cheerful, lively version of my voice. But exhaustion has just taken over. Ta-ra.